Hello Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, today we're going to focus on the recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and a few other things. So let's get started. For Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus. For Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus. So Virgo, in the recent past, we do have the Four of Cups. Your current energy, okay, is a Five of Swords. And in the near future, we do have the Three of Pentacles, Okay, your challenge is the Eight of Cups, and then your overall advice is the Three of Swords. Okay, Virgo. I want to focus on the challenge really quickly here. The challenge for you, Virgo, is the Eight of Cups, okay? Now, the Eight of Cups could definitely represent um, walking away. Okay, walking away from something that hasn't been serving your highest good for quite some time now or something that hasn't necessarily been making you happy for quite some time now. And to be completely honest, I feel like it's a combo of both. Now, for some of you, this could have a lot to do with a marriage. It could have a lot to do with a relationship um, or this could have a lot to do with work. That's definitely a possibility for some of you out there. Maybe you haven't been really enjoying, you know, the company that you work for, you know, maybe you feel like you haven't necessarily been growing in the ways that you honestly thought you would grow within this company. Um, but there's something, there is definitely something that's making you extremely happy. There is definitely something that hasn't been serving your highest good. And I almost want to say for quite some time now, um, and, and your challenge has a lot to do with parting ways from whatever this thing is that hasn't been making you happy or hasn't been serving um, your highest good for quite some time now. To be honest, I feel like you want to walk away from whatever this thing is. I just feel like you're afraid. I just feel like you're afraid. Um, so we're going to get into it. We're going to see what's going on, Virgo, but let's let's focus on the Four of Cups. Tell me more about the Four of Cups for Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus. Okay, we got the Four of Swords, we got the Knight of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Four of Wands. A lot of you feel like you took a wrong turn somewhere, is basically what I'm getting. There's this energy of you wanting to go back to how your life used to be. You know what I mean? It's kind of what I'm getting, because it kind of looks like Again, I just keep getting this energy of you essentially craving to go back to this old life that you essentially had before you made this wrong turn. Because I keep getting that a lot of you feel like you made a wrong turn somewhere. Um, and I and I kind of feel like a lot of you know exactly where you made this wrong turn. Um, but you made this wrong turn and you currently find yourself wanting to go back to this old life that you had before you turned around and made this wrong turn is basically what I'm getting. You know, this old life, I guess, that you had, you know, it looked peaceful. It felt stable. Um, it felt promising. It brought you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, also a lot of excitement. Um, I am definitely getting that this old life that you had, um, it was... It was a little bit unpredictable, but I feel like you liked that it was a little bit unpredictable because I feel like you currently find yourself living a life that's very like routine. And, and Virgo, listen, at the end of the day, you're a Virgo. You guys like your routine, but you guys like to kind of like, you know, switch things up every now and then. Right. But I feel like your life has been so like cookie cutter, like routine. And I don't think that you like it. Um, I also kind of feel like you're not really like enjoying life as much as you used to. Again, before, I guess you made this wrong turn somewhere, but I keep getting that you made a wrong turn somewhere. So I'm trying to figure out what are you referring to with this whole wrong turn? Oh, I feel like you gave somebody a chance is what it was. We have the queen of wands, we have the king of swords, and then we have the moon. Yeah, I feel like you decided to give someone a chance is basically what I'm getting. You decided to give someone a chance. I feel like from the start, yeah, I feel like from the start, you, you, you kind of knew, but also kind of sense that maybe, just maybe, you really shouldn't be giving this one over here a chance. But I feel like you decided to give them a chance either which way. But I feel like initially at the time before you made that wrong turn, right? Um, I feel like on a soul level and on an intuitive level, you just kind of felt like 
maybe I shouldn't give this person a chance. Maybe I shouldn't go off and build and establish a life with this person. But I feel like you turned around and you chose to do it either which way. See, because before you met this person, yeah, you see, before you met this person, you know, you found yourself in a really, really good place. In a really, really good place, Virgo. Um, and, and because you decided, right, to give them and this relationship with them um, a chance, you know, hoping, right, that it'll be 10 times better than the life that you essentially had before you met them. Um, I think that time started to essentially reveal to you that things haven't actually gotten better, you know, for you like you thought it would. If anything, it's like you're looking at this old life of yours like, wait a minute, like my old life was 10 times better than this marriage or than this relationship. You know what I mean? But I feel like you gave this person um, and your relationship with it, with them a chance, hoping but also thinking that, well, maybe, you know, it might be better than the life that I was essentially living before I met them. Like it has that type of feel to it. But I think that time kind of revealed to you that the life that you had prior to them was 10 times better than the life that you currently have with them, if that makes any sense. But let's look at the Ten of Swords. I mean, not the Ten of Swords. Let's look at the Five of Swords. Whoa, there goes the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right. Virgo. You know what's interesting? Somebody just got this message too, now that I think about it. But for the life of me, I forgot who it was. But Virgo, I feel like the moment that this person got with you, their life actually drastically improved. But I feel like the complete opposite actually happened to you is basically what I'm getting. Yeah, is basically what I'm getting. There's a huge possibility, Virgo, that you could very well be connecting with like an energy vampire or somebody who's very big on like using other people's energy to like feel good about themselves you know what I mean and motivate them because there are people that are like like that out there where they like to like use other people to like motivate them and feel good about themselves and I feel like that's exactly what this person has been doing since they got with you they've been feeding off of you and your overall energy for some of you you may have noticed yourself feeling like super drained and depleted with this person but I am definitely getting that the moment they got with you, their life drastically improved. But the moment you got with them, it's like your 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 life went south is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's basically what I'm seeing here, Virgo. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles, we got the Queen of Pentacles, and then we also have the uh, Two of Swords out here. Virgo, very soon, I do kind of see you falling into this energy of definitely considering and leaving this person. I am definitely getting that strongly. Um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you're starting to kind of realize that you made a wrong turn somewhere. And I feel like that wrong turn that you made um, was the day that you decided to give this person, this relationship a chance. Again, hoping that it will be 10 times better than the life that you had prior to meeting them. But the fact that your life isn't 10 times better with them is causing you to feel like maybe it's time for you to part ways from this person in particular and walk away. So I do see you, I'll say this, I do see you considering and leaving them. Um, it, it would be stemming from a place of you basically doing what you feel as though is best for you. Um, but are you going to actually leave them is like the, the, the big question. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to sit here and say you're going to leave them. Especially because I don't have any cards that are actually indicating that you will leave them. I'm getting like more so an energy of you thinking about leaving them and you realizing that being involved with them is definitely not beneficial to you. Like I get this whole them being involved with you being extremely beneficial for them, but 
I don't see how this relationship benefits you in any way, shape, or form. I see how their relationship with you benefits them, but I don't see how this relationship benefits you. And that's the thing is that I don't even think you see how this relationship actually does benefit you. Um, and I think that that's what's causing you to fall into this energy of considering and leaving this marriage or this relationship that you share with them. Now, your challenge is the Eight of Cups, so let's look at the Eight of Cups. Interesting. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Emperor. And then we also have the Ten of Cups. This is interesting. The first thing that came to my mind is you've been here before. You've been here before. You've been here before. This time is no different. You've been here before, Virgo. You've been here before. I think that you're scared to leave this person because you don't, you don't necessarily know what your life is going to look like without them. But I feel like you've been here before. I keep wanting to say that. So I guess like Virgo in a previous relationship, you know, you're with somebody who clearly was not serving your highest good in any way, shape or form. Um, and you started to realize that and you kind of started falling into this energy of, I think it's time for me to walk away from this person because they're not serving my highest good. This relationship is not providing me with what I thought it would provide me with. Right. And you kind of hesitated, you know, on actually leaving this person because you don't really know what your life is going to look like if you were to leave them and, you know, things of that nature. But spirits like, hey, Virgo, you, you've been here before. You've been here before. You've been here before. In other words, just like you bounced back last time, you'll bounce back again. You know what I mean? But even 10 times harder this time is basically what I'm getting. So in other words, you know, spirit doesn't want you to worry. You know what I mean? About what your life is going to look like without this person. Um, because this is spirit's way of basically saying you're going to be perfectly fine hell you're going to be better than fine is basically what i'm getting so don't allow the oh man but i just don't know what my life is going to look like without this person to stop you because you've been here before you've been here before you've been through this before with somebody else is basically what i'm getting and you turned around right and bounced back right you were perfectly fine in the end. This time is no different. This time is no different. Now let's look at your overall advice. Virgo. Deep down inside, you know what you got to do. It's just a matter of doing it. It's just a matter of doing it. It's just a matter of doing it. But I feel like spirit really does want you to trust that at the end of the day, you're going to be perfectly fine without this person. You're going to be perfectly fine without them. You don't need them. They need you. You don't need them, Virgo. You don't need them and you know you don't need them. But they sure as hell need you. You know what I mean? So with that being said, your overall advice is to part ways from this person. And just know that when you do part ways... From this person, you're going to be perfectly fine. You're going to be, I keep wanting to say, you're going to be more than fucking fine. You're going to be more than fine, Virgo. You're going to be more than fine. All right. So in the near future, we do have the three of pentacles. We got the page of wands. We got the queen of swords. And then we also have the uh, six of cups. You know, another thing that I really, really do like is that, yeah, that's another thing that I really do like, um, is that you have... A really good support system around you I am definitely getting that you have a really good support system around you so it's not like you're going through this whole transition by yourself because I am definitely getting that you have a really good support system um, around you You got people who care about you you got people who want to see you happy Virgo um, so with that being said you're not going through this process by yourself you're not. You're not going through this process by yourself whatsoever. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the five of wands. We got the five of cups. We also have the hangman, and then we also have the tower. Virgo, the moment you do decide to leave this person, your life is going to instantly improve. Instantly improve. And I feel like their life is going to instantly fall apart. Mm-hmm. 
I am definitely getting that. I am definitely getting that strongly. Unfortunately for them, I am definitely getting that the moment you decide to leave them, their life is going to instantly fall apart. Instantly fall apart. While your life is going to start to instantly fall into place is basically what I'm getting. All right, Virgo. So just know that you're going to be perfectly fine. You're going to be more than freaking fine, Virgo. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.